Welcome back to my shaving channel, gentlemen, and today introducing the new Asylum Shave Works 17.4, which is going to be named the McMurphy. And we already know what happened to the first batch of this uh, razor. Unfortunately, it didn't go well, but this is a prototype, and just uh, be mindful that it needs to be polished and engraved. This is just no, the non-polished version is basically a prototype of this racer. I have been lucky enough for Phil to send me this uh, prototype to be tested by me. And once again, it's not polished and it needs to be engraved. I didn't try the previous uh, version, the version that it didn't go right. But I can tell you that I like the new knurling design on the handle. I find it to be extremely elegant. And as a matter of fact, I really like the shape of this razor and how elegant looks like. And this is quite a heavy razor. According to my electric scale, the razor weights 3.63 ounces, which in grams is basically 103 grams, which makes them not a very heavy razor, but on the heavy side. Of course, as you already know, it's a three-piece razor. And here I'm using one of my favorite uh, blades, which is the Gillette Silver Blue. And you can see how easy it's just to put the blade inside of the close cone head. And also one thing that I like about this uh, close cone head is that the blade doesn't go farther away from the, from the sides, as you can see on these images here. And also the exposition of the, of the blade is just neutral. Uh, another thing that I have truly like about this razor. Well, it's just time to use this razor. As a matter of fact, I have used it for three days on a row. And for this shave, I'm gonna be using my favorite shaving cream, which is the Lea Classic, a favorite of mine from Spain. The Oku Brushes uh, Toledo Two Band Badger Hair another beautiful superb brush and of course the new Asylum 17.4 McMurphy with the Gillette Silver Blue. Time to build up the ladder on my bald head and also on the lower part of my neck and by the first stroke of this razor I can tell you that it's very 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 smooth my friends. There is basically not a blade feel on the razor Something that it could be good and something that it could be also bad because since there's not that blade feel we can f we can think that we need to apply more pressure on the razor and that wouldn't be a good idea. So be careful with that. Treat this razor like a regular razor. Don't apply too much pressure but there's no blade feel. Something that I truly appreciate. Time to lather up again and I'm just gonna do the against the grain move with the with the razor. I find the razor very well balanced, uh, perfect nut ruling, even when it's a little bit finer than the previous uh, edition of this uh, razor. And once again, if you have a medium bear like me, it's not too coarse. This is a perfect razor to use for every day. It actually reminds me of the Barbados TR2, which I've been using for the last month, but with the no blade feel. There's not too much of a blade feel compared to the Barbados uh, razor. For the side of my bear, I'm just going to be using the Asylum Bay Ram pre-shave oil, which I applied on the side, and I'm just going to shave with the, of course, with the Asylum. 17.4 razor, and once again, no blade feel, but you notice that is taking care of the hair. I wasn't thinking about getting one of these razors, but after trying this prototype, I will buy one once they are polished and engraved. And thank you, Phil, for letting me try this fantastic razor. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, gentlemen.